hey everybody, I just finished a really cool experience and I wanted to share it with you all. Um, it's called Lego Magic Brick Adventure. Um, and basically it is a collection of eight mini games. Um, you collect items and then you can win a special prize at the end. And if you want to play it, you can do so right now before even watching this breakdown video. I'm going to show you really quickly how I uh, made this experience and sort of the game mechanics behind it. Um, but if you want to play it, you can uh, scan this uh, QR code here on the right hand side. So without further ado, let's dive in and I'm going to break this thing down for you. So first of all, I'm going to zoom out to show you uh, what this whole thing looks like. And then uh, we'll talk a bit about the pieces. And you can see that there's a lot of stuff going on here, but I promise it is much simpler than it looks. So check out the annotations that I am putting on the screen and follow along. Uh, first off, we have our two intro scenes here at the top left. And the whole objective of the game is to collect uh, each of these uh, magic bricks, which are all different colors. So if you look at each magic brick and its corresponding row, that is the mini game in order to win that brick. So there are eight mini games. So here's one row, that's one game second row is the second game, and so on and so forth. And then in this end section, we uh, will check for the items to be in the inventory and then notify if they aren't, and then you actually have to uh, give the items back. And once you give all of the items back, you will win a uh, voucher for a special prize, maybe like a free box of Legos or something. So now that you've seen the overview here, let's check out each individual piece. Um, so I'm going to zoom back in here really quick, and then you'll be able to uh, see how this all works. So here's our intro section. It's just a very general scene with the uh, regular button here. And then we go straight into our sort of main menu uh, type scene. And so it says collect all eight for a special prize. You can see what's kind of cool about this is, first of all, um, I made these buttons uh, custom colors, and so I I changed it all to white. You can see that white is not an option, but you have this box here where you can add a hex value, which uh, corresponds to different colors, similar to if you were uh, working in Photoshop or some sort of program like that. So another cool thing about this specific scene is that I changed the buttons. So normally buttons look like this. There are one strip and then they have a piece of text here. But what you can do is if you click on the button, you'll see this uh, section here, it says response typing. You can change that from text to an image. So rather than saying red brick, green brick, yellow brick, etc., I just changed them all to the images of the bricks themselves. And then we have uh, a little man here in the center. So let's move on to the games. And so this first game is uh, very simple. It plays a YouTube video. And so if you click on the video, all you have to do is enter the video ID, which is the string of uh, letters and numbers that appear at the end of the uh, URL that you get when you click share on the YouTube page. And then it'll ask a quick question using a text input scene and then a response contains block uh, to verify that the answer was correct. And once they get the answer correct, they'll get a red brick. So the second game is a five question trivia game and this uses a couple of different pieces. Um, some things that I want to note about this game is that we're using user properties to uh, track points and you'll see I set this key here. It says Lego trivia points and we set that to zero. For every answer they get correct we're incrementing that property by one. Um, and in the questions themselves, I actually also added a timer to add a sense of urgency for the question. So if I click on this tab that says timers on the right hand menu, um, you'll see there's a bunch of different options. I chose it to count down from six and then automatically transition to the next scene without giving a point. Um, the other cool thing uh, I wanted to note about this is uh, I also changed the backgrounds of these scenes. So you can see that uh, the background, uh, you have uh, color selectors here. You can also add a URL and display any sort of website in the background if you want to, but I just sort of stuck to these gradient colors um, and there's a bunch of different colors here. So once you get uh, at least three questions correct, it's going to check and verify that you have more than two, so three, four, five, um, and then it'll say, 
okay, you did it, or sorry, you need to try this uh, trivia game again in order to win the green magic brick. So let's move on to game number three. And this game's kind of fun. It's called uh, Bat Toss. And so uh, here I'm just using a give item scene. So Batman has to throw the battering uh, at the Joker in order to defeat him. And what's kind of cool about this, this is a give item scene that's going to place that battering that into the inventory. And this here is a request item scene. And a request item scene is normally used to uh, take away items from the inventory. But what I did here is I'm using it to simulate throwing uh, the battering at the Joker because you actually have to drag this uh, to the Joker character in order for it to move on to the next scene. After that, it does a simple probability to determine whether or not uh, that toss was a success. And if it is a success, then you get the yellow magic brick. Game four. It says, join the magic builders, take a selfie with your Lego friends to win this magic brick. So this is basically a uh, photo wall. And what I did here is I created a custom frame for the photo wall. So if you click on the camera scene, you can click on this button that says create a frame and then it'll take you to this frame builder. And you can add uh, whatever sort of characters you'd like into the frame, drag them, move them around. When you're done, you click save, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to mess up what I just built here, but you can see there's a bunch of characters from the Lego movie as well as the main character and a uh, Lego logo here. Those are then uploaded to a photo wall using this block here. You can view the photo wall and then um, you get the magic blue brick for completing this little mini game here. So the next game is called Lego All-Stars and it's actually very similar to the previous game except in this case uh, the users are going to record a short video of themselves um, explaining their favorite Lego set and so what's kind of cool about this and how it's different from the other one is I when you click on here you can see that this has changed from photo only to video only here on the right hand side so I made this video only and so that has them record a short video that's then uploaded to a photo wall and then you get another magic brick. So the next game is called Hide and Seek and it is kind of interesting. I've never tried this before until this experience, but it actually worked and I was super excited about it. So basically um, what I'm doing here is I'm using a 360 photo. Um, and so you'll go into the 360 photo and I took that photo and added um, this character along with a password that's hiding somewhere in the photo. And you can kind of see him uh, down here at the bottom left of this frame, but you'll have to uh, experience the experience to see the full uh, password. But so you'll look around and try to find uh, this Lego character and the password. And then just like the YouTube video uh, for the first game, we're using a, a text input scene and response equals blocks um, to get text and, and validate that text. And then you win a, a pink magic Lego brick. And then we move on to the next game called the Gold Brick Challenge. And this is sort of uh, mimicking like an idle miner game or like a tap miner game. It says you need to uh, get at least five bricks to win the uh, magic brick. And so here we have our gold brick. I found this really cool gold brick um, that I'm using. And you can get bricks. And so every time you get a brick, it increments... Uh, the user property that I set called Lego Gold, and then it increments a leaderboard. Now I made a leaderboard here, and you can do that by going to metaverseapp.io, and it's a very simple form that you fill out, and then it creates a website for you that you can then display in a web view scene. And it's uh, super simple, and it's kind of a cool way to keep this mini game competitive even after they've collected the five bricks. So maybe people will collect more than five bricks and try to get to the top of the leaderboard to see who has collected the most. So once you have all five gold bricks, you're gonna trade those five bricks, and then it's gonna run a simple check to make sure that you actually have them. Then it will decrement those uh, five values to compensate for the five bricks you're trading. And then you get a, a magic brick here, an orange magic brick, and it's super fun, and you move on to the eighth and final game. And so this game is pretty simple. Basically, um, it asks you to check out the Lego website. And so uh, most people, what I'm guessing they're going to do is they're going to go to this website and they're going to uh, move on pretty quickly. They're going to 
go on it for a few seconds, wait for it to load, then click next quickly. But luckily I've uh, used time gates in order to make sure that they spend at least 60 seconds on this website. And so what this is doing is it's setting a gate and then it goes to the website and then it checks to make sure that 60 seconds has passed. If it hasn't passed, then it'll say you haven't spent enough time to earn the magic brick and it'll take them back to the website until 60 seconds has passed. And so once the 60 seconds has passed, you earn this cloud uh, brick here. So that is all eight games, but let's take a look. There are nine boxes other than the exit box, of course, and this ninth box is of this little a Lego character from Lego Movie. And so you click on this character and it takes you to this scene over here that says, did you collect all eight magic bricks? Now you can click on this before actually collecting it and try to trade for a prize. But what I'm doing here is I'm running consecutive has item blocks to check and make sure that you actually have all of the uh, magic bricks that you were supposed to collect. And if you are uh, missing one, then it will say, hey, looks like you're still missing this color brick. Come back when you've collected all eight of them. But if you happen to go through all the games and you collect all the bricks and you pass this item check, then it'll say, okay, great. Place each brick into the magic brick bucket. And so I found this cool brick bucket that is uh, the uh, the Lego head to sort of uh, symbolize the mind. The mind is the greatest brick bucket, in my opinion. <laughs> and so uh, it collects each color brick, effectively taking uh, each brick out of the user's inventory so that you have to actually play all the games again to win the prize again. And then it'll say, you did it. Take this item to stores for a free box of Legos. And again, this is just an example. Um, there's uh, there's no free box of Legos, but I just thought it was a kind of a cool prize to win. Um, so if there's a Lego store and you want to give a free box of Legos, you can use this game. Um, so here is the final scene. Uh, gives you an item here that you can supposedly then turn in somewhere to get a free box of Legos. And at the end it says, thanks for playing. We will see you next time. So let me go back and zoom back out so you can see the whole thing again. And after explaining it, it's not uh, that it's not that much, and it looks uh, pretty massive. But when you break it up into pieces, it sort of all makes sense. So again, we have our intro scenes. Each row is a game, and then uh, this end section checks. And, uh, for the items and then takes them out of the user inventory and then gives a prize. So that is the Lego Magic Brick Adventure and how I made the Lego Magic Brick Adventure. I hope that you learned something from this video and you uh, take uh, some of the uh, game mechanics that I used in this and use them in your own experiences to make even more amazing things. Um, if you want to play the game, uh, I'll put this QR code on the screen again for the next few seconds. Uh, feel free to scan the code and play the game for yourself. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed playing it as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, and other than that, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time.